How do we test the new motor control board assembly? We can basically do the same checks here at the assembly as we can do at the panel or at the EQD, such as the identifying resistor, which would be between the brown and black wires, or what would normally be the on-off switch, and in this case, out of water, since the bracket's completely out of the pump, which would be between the brown and the red wire, but since the red wire is not attached, we'll be able to probe the common terminal of the relay, which is where the red wire is normally landed. The brown to red wire is going to be the only test that we do that is polarity sensitive as far as your probe orientations and as far as whether you're using an auto ranging meter or a manually set meter. Okay, so I'm going to start off here. I'm going to go ahead and use an auto ranging meter and I'm going to test the brown to red. I said it's polarity sensitive, so I'm going to start out with the black probe on the brown wire, and I'm going to probe the common terminal, which is where our red wire normally goes. And you'll see in this orientation, I see 3.2 million, and it's rising. Okay, so that is a correct reading for that particular orientation. 3.2, or millions of ohms, and an increasing value. If I reverse the polarity, however, on this and I put the red probe now onto the brown wire and I take the black probe and I touch the common terminal or where the red wire goes I should see a stable million ohm range somewhere between 1 and 11 million ohms and as you can see I'm stable at 9.22 million ohms with this so those are good readings okay and like I said it is polarity sensitive now if we change to a different meter to a manually set meter that does not have auto ranging capabilities, I'm gonna be in the 2 million ohm or 2000 K range. Okay, so let me get my leads here. Okay, and since we're only in 2 million ohms, really the polarity of this one's not gonna matter because if you notice those two readings that I had in the auto ranging meter were somewhere between 3 million ohms rising in one orientation and 9.22 million ohm so 2 million ohm or 2000 k scale is obviously not high enough to pick this up so really i'm going to read an open regardless of the polarity orientation of the probes okay so really the only true way to test the brown to red it would be with an auto ranging meter where you can actually see that increasing million ohm value or the stable value between 1 and 11 million ohms okay so I can also test here between the brown and the black for the identifying resistor, which should be somewhere between 71 and 79K, or in the million ohm scale, it would be represented as 0.071 to 0.079. And as you can see, we're reading 0.074. That's a good reading. Now, the orientation of this is not important, but I'll go ahead and demonstrate that you might see a slightly different reading based on the orientation, but we should still be between the 0 0.071 and 0 0.079. And as you can see here, it is, it's kind of bouncing back and forth between 0 0.073, 0 0.074. Now it's stabilized up, there it goes again. So the polarity is not sensitive. We should read somewhere anywhere between 0 0.071 and 0 0.079. Okay, I can also test the relay itself. We have a common terminal, a normally open and a normally closed terminal. So between the common and the normally open, I should read an open, which is what we read. Between the common and the normally closed, I should read a closed or continuity, which is what we read. I should know, have no short between the normally open and the normally closed terminals, which is what we show here. Okay, one other continuity reading we can perform would be between the yellow and gray wires where our motor wires typically attach and we would be able to see a 0 0.000 or a short between those two wires. Okay, so one last check that we can perform on the new motor control board assembly would be the start capacitor and the capacitance of that actual component. So I'll need a meter that can actually measure microfarads. So I'm gonna change the scale on this down to a microfarad range and the orientation doesn't matter either way. Just probe both of the terminals and, and wait for it to stabilize. And I am reading 489 microfarads, which is good. If you look at the uh, side of the capacitor, it has a range on here of 431 to 516. So the 488 that we read would be perfect, right somewhere in the middle of that.
that pretty much concludes the testing of the new motor control board assembly.